time for another computer video with me, Cool Dude Clown. And yes, I'm using the handy cam again, and I know some of you don't like that because, well, it's not in high definition anymore. But for those extra special videos, I will be using the high def camera. It's just easier to edit with this thing. I mean, easier to edit from this thing. Anyway, what we're looking at here is the, uh, um, well, the name escapes me for now, but uh, that computer I was using while I was upgrading my other computer. And just look at the state of this thing inside. I never let my computers get this bad. Okay, you should be able to see it from a different angle. Just look at how dusty this thing is inside. Like I said before, I never let my computers get this bad. So I'm just going to dust some of this off, and maybe this is not the best way to do it. But this is the way I de-dust computers when I have to do so. Well, it's looking a little better. Maybe not totally better, but at least it's better. And for those of you interested, here are the specs of the computer, which is still stuck on the computer's um, thing. We have a 2.8 GHz Pentium 4 processor, 512 megabytes of DDR RAM, 120 gigabyte hard drive, DVD drive and DVD writer, NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200 graphic card, with 128 megabytes of video memory. Now, to my knowledge, apart from Windows being completely screwed up on this computer, I mean, I had to un um, I had to uninstall Snap Do from this thing, and if I've I've if I've uninstalled that from one computer, I've uninstalled that from well, I've I've lost count now, but a heck of a lot of computers, heck of a lot of Windows installations that have that useless thing installed, which really does nothing more than just tie up resources and make the computer incredibly slow. I've uninstalled that, uninstalled a whole lot of unnecessary stuff that was installed on there, defrag the hard drive, clean the registry, and although that's improved the performance a little bit, it's still not working as good as it should. So I think just a clean reinstall of Windows hopefully will sort out all those problems. And then we'll see what this computer is really like. I don't know which computer is faster. I mean, this one has a 2.8 gigahertz processor. And my video edi editing computer, excuse the mess, is only 2.2 gigahertz. However, that one has an AMD processor, whereas this one has a Pentium 4. So, at this moment, which one is actually faster, I have no idea. Okay, so it's time for a bench test. Now, let's see how long this computer, which is my video editing computer, let's see how long that takes to export one minute of video. Of course it would help if I was pointing the camera at the screen. Okay, so it's now exporting one minute of video and I'm just going to leave the camera running while it's doing this so I can get an exact time of how long it takes. So I'm just going to yammer on about my incredibly dull life. Well, at least things are good with the games computer. We have PlayStation 2 emulation and Wii emulation and other emulation. Of course, games that it can run by itself. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing that annoys me about downloading things. So when you download something... And let's say it's just something simple like a video pla um, video encoder. So you download the thing, and when you install it, it installs a whole bunch of other useless crap you don't need as well. Changes your home page. Changes the search engine you use. I mean, really, is that necessary? You know, all I want is just a program that I want, I don't want all that other stuff, and with some of these things there is absolutely no way 
to unselect all these other stuff you, that you don't want. Anyway, I think we're about three and um, four fifths done. Okay, I can just see the line coming over now. So any minute this will be done. Then I will play the tape back and find out exactly how long it took. And then we'll try the same with this computer when I've got everything reinstalled on it. And we'll see how long that takes. Right, okay, this is wired in and ready to go. Now, what I want to do is eventually use this computer as my video editing computer. And even though it only has 512 megs of RAM, it should still be able to do the job. I mean, this one's got one gig of RAM in it. And unfortunately, well, I'm not sure if these are the same type of memory it has. I haven't really looked into that. But as you can see, there are four sticks there, which means each of those is only 20, um, 256 megabytes. So it really wouldn't make much of a difference. I mean, I could get maybe 768 megs of RAM in there if I put that extra stick in. But again, I don't know if that's the same type. I haven't tried it yet. And a couple of things I like about this computer is we've got USBs and card readers at the front. And on this computer, the front USBs don't work because I accidentally fried the motherboard. So those parts don't actually work anymore. Except the rest of the computer works absolutely fine. The USBs on the front got subjected to an, a static charge which killed them. And another thing I like about this computer is it's very quiet, unlike me, who tends to shout into the microphone throughout the entire unlike me who tends to unlike me who tends to shout into the microphone. Unlike me, who has a habit of shouting in the microphone for the entire duration of the video, making it sound like I'm angry, when in fact I am absolutely completely not angry. So I'm trying to turn my voice down a little bit. Anyway, I'll turn this on and you can actually hear how quiet this computer is. I'm going to put the microphone right next to the case, which is open. So, here we go. And that's even quieter with the side panel on it. And of course it's already loading up Windows because I haven't put my um, installation disk in. So we'll just let this load and uh, then I'll reboot it with the disk in and well, well Windows has a, uh, well Windows has been loaded for about a minute now. And it's still accessing the hard drive, which means it's still loading a whole bunch of crap that it really doesn't need. Don't know if you can hear that. Of course, having said that, it's shut up now. Anyway, I'm going to put the installation disk in and install a fresh copy of Windows on this computer. Right, well, here we have a fresh install of Windows XP registered to me anyway gonna install the drivers for everything else and we'll see if this is any better at um, everything okay so I've installed Premiere and copied some video from the camcord onto it and I am now going to make a file I'm going to make sure the settings are exactly the same as they were before. So it was Microsoft AVI with XVID codec. Now I'm just going to configure this. I had this on unrestricted. I almost dropped the camera there. Right. Aspect ratio 60 by 9. Okay, there we go, that's all done. 
so let's see how long this takes. Save. Like before, I'm just going to leave the camera running while it is exporting the file. So then I can compare how long each computer took to render one minute of video. So we can see. I'm just going to stare here at the screen while it's doing this. I've got a high pitched noise in my ear at the moment. I'm going to stick the microphone in there, see if you can hear it. Can you hear that noise? That ringing in my ear? I don't know why they do that sometimes. The ringing stopped. I wonder what that is inside my ears that oscillates to make that high frequency noise. It's one question I've always pondered. Don't know if you could hear it. Don't know if the camera's frequency response goes up that high. It's about, I don't know, about 15 kilohertz or so. Sometimes it's as low as 3 kilohertz, sometimes it's... Well, actually, sometimes it's as low as about 400 hertz. And other times it can be as high as about 15 kilohertz. The ringing in my ears. Anyway, this is almost done. So I'm going to see how long it took. Okay, there's one little thing that is different. I put a project link in, but that shouldn't really make any difference. I'm not going to bother with that. Okay. Okay, the results are in. Now I have the complete... Um, process of encoding the video that I recorded loaded into Premiere this is how long this computer took right here and this much longer piece of video is how long this computer took to render one minute of video that's from start to finish no editing so, despite this computer here being 600 megahertz slower than this one, this one is clearly faster at rendering the video. Just goes to show you how efficient those AMD processors are. Well, I'm going to have to wrap this up quickly because I've developed another sudden cold and I accidentally left the camera on for about an hour, draining the battery without realising it. Anyway, I've decided that since this computer can outperform this, whatever the hell it's supposed to be, I'm still going to use this for my video editing. And I've also added something to it. Can you see what I've done? I've added the DVD drive that was in my games computer. That is now in this computer, along with its own DVD drive. They're both writers as well. And as if by magic, a couple of discs appear. This one is drive E. And this one is drive F. I had to write them on the side of the computer so I know which is which. The computer wouldn't boot when I first did this because 
I forgot to set the jumpers on this one, so it, it just got confused and wouldn't boot up Windows, but as you can see now, everything is fine. And they're both accessible, just waiting for them to spin up. There we go, there's one of them right there. Let's just open the files. And let's open the other one, let's see what we got in there. And there we go. Anyway, I've got to get back to work on my cartoons and get over this cold that I've just developed for no reason. I don't meet anybody or any go anywhere, so I don't know how I got it. Anyway, that's it, so I'm going to go now. So until next time, goodbye. As you probably recall, the temple comes from the temple comes from the book is some. Oh.